Alright, so now I'm gonna go really silly. Woo! So things are getting really serious, people. Now we have reached a stage where we have chosen the contractor and now there is no going back. Actually, there is going back, but that just doesn't look professional. So to just give you guys a whole summary or a bird's eye view of what we have been discussing from the first video, we have done the assessment phase from which we created an EIR. Now in the next phase, we submitted that EIR to multiple contractors and those multiple contractors responded to that EIR in the form of a BEP. Having all of these multiple BEPs, we selected one chosen contractor that will do this particular work. Now the next stage is to create the post contract BEP. Post contract BEP, pre contract BEP. Now in this phase we are going to talk about the post contract BEP which contains only and mainly two things. The first one is the construction program. So this particular construction program contains all of the activities that will be required to make this particular structure and maintain it. And here is what it actually looks like. Actually it's a big thing so I'm just going to cover and take all of the screen right here. So this is what it looks like. As you can see in the screen you have columns firstly which have a start date, finish date. Firstly you have activities. Now these particular activities have their start date, have their finish date then they have the date, uh, the number of days that they actually took. Basically, this construction program tells you three things. Firstly, when did the project start? When did the project actually finish? And how many days it took in between it? So that's what the construction program is. Next, we talk about the MIDP. After the construction program, MIDP. Now, what does it actually stand for? Well, MIDP stands for Master information delivery plan what's that you ask me let's further discuss on it furthermore that was right right so master information delivery plan includes many things so in order to explain it in a better way now i'm going to cover the whole screen and use a chart post contract bep which states here um, it contains two things construction program and master information delivery plan now we discuss the construction program. Next we move on to the MIDP and the MIDP contains another three things such as TIDP which stands for Task Information Delivery Plan which as the name itself suggests states how the task will be actually completed, who will be the person involved and what will their responsibilities be. Speaking of responsibility, another thing included is the responsibility matrix. This responsibility matrix contains all of the project team members and the roles associated and the authorities that they have. Next you have uh, in the uh, MIDP also contains something called a supply chain capability summary. Now this supply chain capability summary is uh, something that proves to the client and to the contractor that the supply chain for the material, for the machinery, for the manpower is capable of actually achieving the BIM objectives that have been set up at the start of the project. So in order to uh, comply with them, there are many assessment forms such as the supplier resource assessment form, uh, the supplier BIM resources form, the supplier IT assessment, supplier BIM resources again. So these forms have to be filled out in order to prove the supply chain capability which will add up to the MIDP. So I know that was a lot to take in, in a single sitting. So I suggest that you guys see it and repeat. So that's about it. That's about it, I guess, that I had to discuss in this video. video and that's a wrap